Hey guys, it's Roberta here. Um, I just figured I'd come on this morning and show you some things that I had purchased uh, from uh, from uh, Walmart. Uh, not well, one bag is not recently, probably over a month ago, and then the other one is like mm, maybe about a week ago. Um, I don't know if I showed you in a haul or not. So. If you see stuff repeated, sorry, but I just wanted to show you. And I am up early today. Um, and I wanted to just show you. I think I showed you in the haul. My Fox Christmas mug. Um, hopefully I could go. I think it was $2. Hopefully I could go back and get some more mugs. Um, I want to get. I, I have mugs in storage. I just have to go get them. So, okay, the first thing they have is a uh, baster. Um, I had a baster, um, and it got weird or whatever, so went and got a new one. And this was a uh, dollar something, I believe, at Walmart. It was on their um, Thanksgiving and holiday, uh, what do you call it, you know, like sellout items, I guess, for... For the holidays. And also I picked up finally got one of these. It is a cookie scoop. So when you make uh homemade cookies, um you can scoop it and I don't have to use a spoon anymore. So this is uh um uh, again these are both from Mainstays. Uh so yeah, I got the cookie scoop, stainless steel. Um, so because I recently bought cookie mixes and I want to be able to uh, use this to get the right size um, cookies. Also, I picked up a new thing of uh, measuring uh, cup spoon set because uh, mine got disconnected off this ring but I noticed this one is two separate rings as you can see there it's two separate rings uh, because I want to try to measure some things out sometimes I don't measure stuff but if there's a particular recipe I, I want to measure stuff out properly and here I went and, like I said, I had to get more hangers. <clears throat> These were a dollar, uh, I think these were a dollar six fifteen or something like that. Um, again, these are mainstay products. This is a 10 pack of hangers. I bought three packs because I now have a walk-in closet and... I mistakenly threw my hangers out, and uh, now I don't have enough, and stuff is still, uh, you know, like coats need to be hung up and things like that. Picked up these gloves, two dollars. These pink gloves, they are like, um, they have the fingers exposed, you know, kind of like. Uh, a biker glove or whatever you want to call it. Um, but you are able to make it a mitten. Well, it's buttoned. But you're able to take this part and make mittens out of it. To, co to cover up your exposed fingers. So that was $2. And there we go with the, black, with the polo jacket that I have. Okay, um, and like I said, I, I bought three packs of those 10 pack hangers. Um, so yeah. I don't think I showed you the electric knife I purchased. Um, now, I believe I purchased this. Uh, 
Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, Projector Solex uh, Dual Electric Knife. I might have showed this in Easy Slice. I might have showed this in a haul that I did. Um, I believe this was from Shoprite. Um, so yeah, so I got this electric knife because I do have issues with my hands using certain knives. Now the new Chef's knife, and the I have no, I don't seem to have an issue with that. But um, there are other knives that I do have issues with. So. Um, Especially carving like a roast or something. Um, yeah, so that's this. But this was purchased at ShopRite. Um, and I... $19, I believe this was. Um, and then I picked it. I have a pair of black boots that are missing. That I'm looking for. Uh, that I took from... When I was moving from the new place to, I mean, from the old place to the new place, I found one pair of black boots, but my other pair with tie backs are missing. So I just picked up these, kind of like Doc Martin looking military type boot. Uh, same kind of uh, prints, you know, in the bottom. Obviously, they're not real Doc Martins, which I would love to have a pair of those, but. Um, those are very expensive boots, over a hundred dollars. Um, you can probably get them on Amazon or eBay maybe for, uh, a bid or something like that, but it wouldn't be the straight up black ones, uh, or straight up red ones. Well, they do come in different colors. Now I was trying to find a pink pair of Doc Martens because I like to get that. Those are about 200 bucks. Doc Martens can really get expensive. But I found this pair at Walmart. Better than nothing. Um, $19.87. Uh, it'll do for now. Um, but it, they seem really, uh, you know, you know, kind of what I want, and these are kind of like the new stuff that's coming out, like these new boots. But I, I, I love boots for the winter time, for my uh, feet. Um, ankle boots, knee boots, any kind of boots really. Uh, you know, well, you know, obviously snow boots. I, I do have to, um, I do have to get a pair of snow boots, and I did see a pair at. Costco's $99. They are bare, almost like the uh, bare something. It's a really, really good brand. Um, and they do sell them at like, was it D DSW? Stores like that. But the Costco carries them for $99. Now, if you bought them in DSW, they're going to be over $100. So you are getting a bargain at Costco's. We do have a brand new Costco that, that just came a couple weeks ago before Thanksgiving. So I'm hoping to get a membership from there and be able to buy those boots there. Uh, they also sell other clothing. Uh, some of the clothing I was looking at, and some of them are name brand clothing that Costco carries. So they are they carry large sizes, so big and tall, gentlemen or whatever. Um, plus size woman, uh, they do carry your sizes in Costco for jackets, uh, boots, uh, shirts, you know, pants, they, they got it at Costco, but they do carry larger sizes, um, and you can possibly get, uh, like, packs of stuff like socks, um, you know, you would get more in a pack, obviously, because it's a bulk store, wholesale that you would get a more more um socks or whatever in the package um like i think like instead of like you know usually you go to walmart and you get or, or kohl's or target whatever you'll get like 10 packs or you'll get like the 20 pack but i believe costco has like 30 40 packs of this stuff so 
um, for about the same price, for like $6 that you would pay for like a 10 pack. So some things I did notice in there, I would like to purchase from Costco. So um, starting in the uh, new year, hopefully we will have a Costco membership and we'll be able to get a lot of stuff in bulk. I I'm mainly going to use, Co I kind of use Costco like I use BJ's. BJ's is also a wholesale warehouse. Um, where I can get my Chinets or whatever, Dixie, mostly paper products, toilet paper, toilet tissue. I could get it in a huge thing where uh, it, it will be, you know, like I could go in Walmart and purchase it. But it, when you go to Walmart, you're getting maybe a 20 pack where I can get a 30 pack of, of a paper product where actually Walmart for 10 bucks... You can get um, the China plates uh, for 10 bucks at Walmart. Now, you're getting the 80 count. Go to Costco, excuse me, go to Costco or, Brit or um, BJ's. You're going to get, you know, over 100 of those or more in a package. So, it's worth whatever. It would probably be costing me more at Costco, but it's worth... It'll probably be about nineteen twenty dollars maybe uh for that, but it's worth me buying it at Costco or b j s than Walmart at at that price because you're getting that extra um <clears throat> you're getting that extra amount of stuff napkins uh you know like we use the uh what is it the um well usually it's great value or Dixie. So, uh, uh, you know, forks, knives, and spoons, like the plastic wear. Uh, you can get that at Costco or BJ's. Be a little bit more money, but you are getting more in the, in the thing. So, for me, cups, plates, paper plates, cups, uh, coffee cups, things. Uh, we have the Dixie coffee cups that we use, the foam cups with the lids. That is worth more at getting from Costco or BJ's, then ShopRite, Walmart, or, um, you know, if you went, maybe Target. If you don't have a Walmart, you go to Target. But, um, to me, it's worth getting stuff. And, and also, Costco has a more, uh, selection than BJ's Wholesale Warehouse. Uh, if I could ha have both memberships, I would have both memberships in case I couldn't find something at Costco. Because Costco is somewhat overwhelming. I would be able to go to BJ's, which is a little bit smaller. Well, where we live, it's a little bit smaller than Costco's. Um, and we can get stuff from, you know, the BJ's warehouse. But, um, or wholesale. So, um... But I, mean, I plan on having both memberships just in case. Um, the membership for Costco is $55. But with Costco, you get a five-day-a-week uh, food sample. Uh, you get demos. So you can walk around five days a week inside Costco and test, uh, taste test food products or get samples of products, um, you know, like toiletries or whatever. Um, also, they don't just do food, they do uh, other products like diapers, toilet paper, um, laundry detergent stuff, uh, you know. But you're able to get that five days a week with your membership. So, um, I'm, I'm not sure about BJ's too much because I really don't see any food sampling there. But they probably do have demos at BJ's. Um, I just haven't seen it when I've ever been in there. Um... But uh, I do prefer the Costco's a little bit over BJ's. Um, BJ's has been there longer than the Costco. Like I said, Costco was just built uh, and open on the 17th of November. So it's a very, very new store. Um, the other location, I don't want to give the name of the town out, but the other location was about 45, between 30 and 40 minutes away from where 
we live. So, right now, we have a five minute trip to Costco. So, and we have numerous stores. Uh, the only thing we don't have is Target uh, near us, anyway. I mean, there is a Target, but Target is about 40 minutes the other way. Um, that's like in another county over. So, um, which is, can't get there all. Well, actually, the two Targets that are close are in different counties. So, uh, it is a little bit of a ride to get there. If you really want to go to Target, um, and we just don't want to do that. We don't want to have to drive to Target. And if there's something we can't find, then we'll go to Target. Um, but we prefer the other Target over the one Target, um, which is north of here, uh, the north of here Target. Um, I think that's a better Target than that other one. So, um, and I would more or less prefer to go to that, even though it's a hike, but I would prefer to go to that one if I had to go to a Target. I do like Target once in a blue moon. Um, I'd rather shop at Walmart, Kohl's, or, um, uh, there is a Christmas tree store, but like I said, that's in also in another county about 30 minutes away. Um, which one of my Christmas videos is, I'm hoping to get to the Christmas tree store. Um, but I will be, I already did the, the Christmas blog for Walmart. Um, so I have to get over to Dollar Tree to do theirs. Uh, I want to kind of hit a lot of this, uh, maybe, like, because, like, Taller Tree, Bed Bath & Beyond, Marshalls, what's the other one? Dress Barn, oh, Dress Barn is clothing. Um, I don't think there'd be too much Christmas things there. But it's not like a Bed Bath & Beyond or anything like that. Um, and, what's the other ones? Alta. Uh, all the other stores on the other side, Ulta, uh, Jack and Jill, I think, Addiction, um, I'm trying to remember all the other stores, so they, a Taboo or something like that, uh, just to see what they have, and uh, especially Home Goods, because I love going in Home Goods, Home, home Goods is my favorite, um, I love to hit the, uh, Home Goods, um, for my, for, uh, Chris, I'm doing my vlogmas, so some of my vlogmas episodes are are showing you what they are carrying in the stores. Now, I can't really, I can do Costco, but like I said, you won't see me shopping because I don't have a membership. I can go in there because I work for a company that is contracted through Costco, so I can walk around a little bit and show you huge Christmas trees that they have, um, some of their Christmas stuff. I could probably walk in the BJ's. I would do the smaller drugstores, Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS. I'll do them also because, um, I've seen people blogging deals that they've got in at Walgreens, Rite Aid, and, uh, I'm only going to do the local Rite Aid and the local Walgreens and a local CVS. I'm not going to other towns and I'm not showing you those. I'm showing you what's local. Uh, maybe little shops. I'm also going to take you into like these little boutiques. We have little boutique shops on Main Street. I'll show you those. Um, you know, maybe they have some stuff in there. Um, there's Red Vanilla. Uh, I don't know if anybody's heard of that store. It's kind of like a China store. Figurines or whatever it is. Uh, I'll go in there because they look like they had some Christmas stuff. Um, so that's basically um, what I'm going to be bringing you. Now I figured out the issue with the uh, phone. I have to turn my... Because uh, I ran out of data and I think I made a video about that. Now, from what they said, I have to turn off my data thing usage when I'm home because you can't run the, the what do you call it, the cell phone data with the Wi-Fi 
from my house because it will eat up your uh, data. If you have a Verizon pre uh, prepaid phone, which is the Galaxy J1, if you have that phone, that is going to happen. Uh, which I don't think, I don't remember that happening before I moved here. Um, so it might be because we changed the internet company. I don't know. We had one company and then we went to another different company. Now with the one company we just have the telephone with. We don't have internet with them anymore. We don't have we have internet with the cable company. That might have something to do with it. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but I've been, you know, she told me how to do it. So I've been doing that. So hopefully, now this is going off the internet from the house. Um, so hopefully I could do the live chats and everything else. So, alright. So, yeah, that's the scoop on that. Also, um, I know I showed you in the hall. We got the Dell, L, uh, old, old El Paso at 12, um, Hard and soft taco kit here. I just want to show you real quick. Um, we're gonna pick up some ground beef. Um, shop rate to make the tacos with, and then we're gonna, you know, get the tomatoes and everything else, cheese, all that to go with that. Because um, I thought I had picked that up at the uh, last food hall, but I did not. So, um, I, I picked up Sargento cheese and apparently did not pick up that cheese for the, and, I don't know, I think I was, it was late, I was rushing or something. Um, but, yeah, so, and I'm, uh, now I can do the cooking videos, so, um, not sure what I'm cooking just yet. Um, I did do the turkey soup video. I did show you the steak sam steak and sandwiches because I didn't make a burger, so I was trying to get rid of the steak and so I made a steak and cheese sam uh, thing last night with barbecue sauce and steak fries. Steak fries I don't really care for, um, but I wanted to try that brand of um, steak fries. I only like them when they're in diners. Like diner steak fries, um, when they give you with a uh, burger or whatever. I don't, I don't know the whole to buy them in the store and make them. I don't, I maybe because they're deep fried. Um, maybe I should try deep frying them, but I don't like to put oil in a pan and, and do that. So I'm, I might try it one day. I just don't want to burn myself. That's why I don't fool around with that stuff. Uh, I, I knew somebody worked in a pizzeria and they severely burned their arm with oil, um, deep frying oil. So, um, don't know if I want to try that. I'll try, I probably will try to heat the oil up a little bit and then turn it down or something. Because I'm working with a gas stove and I don't want any issues with oil flying or anything like that. So, we'll see. Because it says you can you can pan fry them also like I guess like a uh, hash browns, um, but I bake I like to bake my fries but um, but I know in a diner they deep fry them. So, um, just anyways I don't want to get into the grease. <sighs> Okay, so this video has gone long enough, so please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, please leave, bleh, leave comments below. If there's a particular, uh, well, I might, we might not have a lot of stores that you guys have in other states, but if there's any particular store that you want me to show the Christmas stuff that's your favorite store, if we have it locally, I'll do that. Um... But yeah, just stay tuned for the other, and I'm going to go over and do a live chat now. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, thumbs up, give comments, like I said. Um, I do have a, uh, I'm going to wind up doing a giveaway. Um, but the giveaway probably won't, mm, I'm trying to do it for the holiday. It might be wind up being a New Year's giveaway. So stay tuned for that details.
<clears throat> for that video. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Have a great day.